not go there. So, yeah, how beneficial is this break for you? What sort of things did you try to focus on? Um, I'd say this break, I got to watch a lot of film on myself um, and just break down things that I could do better and things that I was doing well going into those last couple games. And I think that last stretch for me was pretty um it was like I was playing some of my best basketball with this team and in this system so I was just trying to build off that tweak the little things um really get back to basic stuff because that's really all I can do at this at this point in my career is just focus on the basics so it was pretty beneficial and then you get to take the time um be with your family and that's always um, a blessing um, so it's good. I like the special sports for Well, how unique is just having a break in the middle of the season like that, especially as a young player? It was kind of weird at first because I'm like, you know, it, it kind of distorted momentum. But luckily for us, um, you know, our momentum was kind of going down. And I'm a firm believer of um, your setback is your setup. And, um, so I believe that, that that momentum going down is pretty much our setup for our rise. And um, I think everyone got the chance to just refocus. Um, so I think it's going to be a really good setup for us. You guys good? Wow. Um, it's like a dream come true for me because like growing up, I'm watching a bunch of games. Um, I'm watching Kobe. I'm watching Candace. I'm watching everybody like who I've looked up to, um, you know, win here. And um, it's just a certain level of pride that comes with being smart. That um, I'm just really excited to take on that challenge. I'm really excited, excited to just be in this gym and you know, be a part of that lineage. It's really special playing in this gym. So take special players. Go to the Zoom, Chris Camello with Nightcast Media. Hey, Arella, thanks for taking the time uh, this morning. Um, yeah, just kind of building on that. Obviously, Staples Center has been uh, home to quite a few champions. So, you know, when you step out on that floor, is it is it different than any other court that, that you ever played on? And what does that mean to you, just on a personal level? I wouldn't say it's different because I approach every game with the ambition to win, the motivation to win. So I wouldn't say it's different really mentally. It just, it's a different feel. Like you just, you kind of just feel special walking in into that gym and it hasn't really hit me yet. I don't think it'll probably hit me until the game actually starts, but just knowing the lineage that comes from playing um, and the special people that played in the Staples Center, um, even now, just um, adds a little more fuel to the fire. That's about it. Chris, you good? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Neko will be next. Sam. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks, bro.
All right, thank you for joining again. We'll start in person. Oh, thank you. Um, I'd say that our focus has really, um, has, I think, taken a turn for the better. Um, it was nice to be able to have some reprieve, of course, and people get some rest, um, but our focus, and then of course, we have bodies, you know, we have, we have people that can play, we have an extended bench and just building off the chemistry that we had before the break, but then even more so now with healthy bodies and us really being able to incorporate the things that say I've been seeing from the sidelines. So um, I think our focus is, is really, it's, it's sharper, yeah. Hey, I'm Sean, I have a lot of sports Considering how you got out this year, you know, being in the first what are you experiencing right now? Is it, is it gratitude? Are there some nerves? You know, just being able to get back out on the floor tonight? I'm just, yeah, grateful to be able to play, um, to be able to play with my teammates, to be able to play in Staples Center. Um, it's a great day. Talk about, seem like as the time went on, it became. A little bit even more involved, at least from our from our bench point, in terms of your communication with the teammates on the bench. Um, how tough was that one? And then two, how intentional was it as well? Uh, you know, I think that when you know you're an athlete and what you do, you do with your body. And when you're not able to be out there, you have to kind of figure out ways to not only just get healthy, but still involve yourself, especially if you're on a team. So for me, I had a lot, I, a lot of communication, a lot of observation, um, and being able to relay that in the game in real time, not just when we're at practice or watching video. So I was able to find kind of like a new way for me to contribute um, by watching and talking to my teammates, but then also using that to understand how I can be better for them when I, you know, now that I'm back. So it's it's really been, um, I've kind of had to, you know see things, see the game from a different perspective um, in a way that I think has made me better as, as a teammate and as a player. I will go to the Zoom. We have Doug Feinberg with the AP. Hey, Neka, great to see you. Hey, nice to see you, Doug. Well, hear you, sorry. <laughs> um, how are you feeling compared to 100% right now? And do you have restrictions today? Or are you good to go for as long as you need to go? No restrictions. I'm playing today. I feel good. It's good to hear. So, so you're, I mean, hundred percent, like you're back, everything's fine with the knee. You're good to go that way. Besides just playing, but being able to go 35 minutes if you need to. Yeah. I mean, whatever I need to do today, I'm going to do, um, you know, I always, I always think about this because when I was on the shop with LeBron, he said this, and I think it's, I think it's maybe something that maybe people who don't play at this level quite understand um, the second that I stepped on the court as a rookie, I was no longer hundred percent, you know, like with, with time, there's going to be, you know, a drop off, but then maintaining the high level of play, um, I think is something that I'm still able to do. I know it's something I'm still able to do. Um, if we're speaking strictly today, you know, hundred percent now is different from hundred percent before, but I am, I would never put myself out there if I couldn't do everything that I, I needed to do on the court. So that's how I feel, and I'm grateful for that. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Naka. Good luck today. Thank you. See one more hand. So we'll go to Chris Camello with Nightcast Media. Hey, Naka. Good morning. Nice to see you. Morning. Uh, yeah, I, you know, how great is it for you to make your uh, return actually at Staples Center? It's almost like, uh, you know, home sweet home again, right? So just talk about what it's like to be back on the Staples Center floor and, uh, you know, being healthy and, and really getting this second half off to a good start. Yeah, I mean, it's, it feels like an extension of um, the bubble for us because we were in the convention center for so long um, after a bubble season. So for us to finally be able to be on a court that we um, know as home is great. Um, and it's also been exciting seeing um, you know, with the new squad, all of the young players and new players, 
who haven't been on staples as a spark. And so being able to kind of share in that joy has been, has been great. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Thank you.